All right, so we're here in our quality control department where we've just received our very first run of the Flex 1500s. We're super excited to have them and we want to show you guys a little bit about how they work. So I don't think we've ever walked anybody through how the LCD works, so let's get started on that. You'll see that there are three different power buttons. Each one of them does a little bit different thing. But on the Flex battery, we have uh, this power button right here that will turn on the LCD, which will give us a battery status. It doesn't need to be turned on for the system to operate. It's just to show you how the battery is. So you've got your battery state of charge right here on the left, as well as the battery voltage. You can go ahead and turn that off. Um, now, if you want to use AC, turn on the power button up there. The whole system will boot up. You'll notice that this doesn't turn on. If you want it to, again, you can just press that power button. It'll do it. So when you first turn it on, it's going to give you a home screen that just says Energy Flex on it. Because the inverter is on, it does use a small amount of power, and that power will show up here below the, the letters DIS, which stands for discharge. So you've got estimated run time right there. It tells you how long it will run under this load. And then in the top right, you've got your battery state of charge, as well as a little battery icon. That does go up and down. It's pretty small, but it does go up and down with how, this, with how the battery is either charging or discharging. So let's go ahead and put it under a load to show you how that works. Let's put it into AC mode, turn that on. And we've got um, incandescent light bulbs, if you believe we can still find those online. But we use that as our load because it's really constant, it's easy to replicate, they're a perfect testing load. So you can see here we've got about four watts with, this, with the machine just powering the uh, inverter with an estimated runtime of just over 87 hours. So we plug this in, and then we've got a discharge showing of 200 watts. That's what DIS stands for. And then our estimated runtime has updated to be just under two hours. We can add another 200 watt light bulb to it. Now we're up to 408 out, uh, watts with an estimated runtime of about 56 minutes at this state of charge. So you'll notice that our battery is only at 36% charged. So it'll last us about an hour at this level. Now we can use the quick wall charger, plug that into the side of the unit, and that actually is the solar input. So you'll see solar come up on the LCD, and it will say zero watts as soon as that quick wall charger is plugged in. And then you'll notice it'll quickly spool up as the charge controller gets going. So as that gets higher, you'll see the discharge number goes down. That number is the combined effect of all the power that's coming in and all the power that's going out. So now we're kind of balanced at about a 200 watt input, a 200 watt neck discharge, because we've actually got 400 watts coming out of it. Now what I can do is pull out one of these. That number will drop down to almost a net zero. We're at, you know, we're at like a net charge of about 14 watts we've almost got the charge and discharge balanced, which is why you're seeing that on the screen. So the estimated runtime is pretty, pretty crazy right now at 43, 44 hours. Uh, that's because again, our, our charge and discharge are almost exactly matched. So then if I pull this out, that uh, load will drop off. And now we show that we're having a net charge with 200 watts about with that solar input going at just over 200 watts. The estimated charge time, notice it changed from run to charge. That's now showing just over three hours. We've got the battery percentage state of charge. Now, if we did turn on the flex battery, it's gonna give us basically the same information. Um, that's gonna be great for customers that have just the flex battery connected to either a, a Kodiak or an Apex, or if you just wanna know what your, the status of your battery is when it's not connected. Now you will notice that the, the light here blinks behind the power button. It flashes like that anytime the system's charging. So whether I turn this off, it only turns off the LCD, but that button continues flashing as the system charges. So that's how the whole thing works. It's pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty basic, um, but that's a great overview of what you can expect. We're excited to get these to you, thanks.